in disbelief, really. And then eventually with a big smile on my face. <laughs> on November 13th, someone broke into Alistair Fraser's van, parked in a downtown Portland parking garage. They stole his violin and his partner's cello just before their performance. Fraser put up signs and visited violin shops, asking everyone to look out for his longtime fiddle. Weeks later, Fraser had, regrettably, started looking for a new violin to play. I was realizing how difficult it was going to be. Then this week, he got a call. When I first got this phone call, I just thought it was some kind of trick, you know, or I thought this, this can't be real. At David Kerr Violin Shop in Southeast Portland, longtime employee Andy Emmert had spotted something. Uh, seeing that violin, my reaction was, I think that could be the one. Like, that's the one that, that Alistair said that, that went, had gone missing. Emmert says a couple walked in to sell the violin, its double case and four bows. The shop bought it with a check, quickly realized it was Frazier's stolen instrument, and then canceled the check. They called Frazier, who took a flight to Portland at 5 in the morning the next day. I still couldn't really believe it. I had to go put my hands on it, you know, and then kind of touch it. Frazier, a world-class Scottish fiddler, reconnected with his longtime companion. A glorious moment, and I, I feel very fortunate to, not only for this to happen to me, but to be able to share a good, a good news story, you know, because, man, do we need a good news story. Back home in California, Frazier said he was thinking of an optimistic and proud song that he wrote. Here is a tune I wrote for my dad called Rob Fraser's Welcome to San Francisco. There's something very sympathetical about the instruments that, that we use and that we, you know, we, we become very finely tuned to the instrument itself. So it's like picking up part of your, your own body. He says he'll get back to performing in the new year, re-energized to write and play music. It's an honor to, to lead a life following the fiddle, as I always say. So we'll be back in Portland again. You know, we can't wait to come back. And uh, we, we are really, really thankful for all the, the support that the, the people of Portland showed for this. It, was, it resonated. Frazier says he wants to encourage people to come to live music concerts and use this experience to shine a light on income disparity in American cities. Tim, it was just fantastic talking to him tonight, seeing him light up just like that. Oh, Evan, what a great update there. Thank you so much.